Hello everybody. Guess what we're doing today? Oh yes, I'm doing my shoulder dance. That means we got an unboxing. So if you guys are new to this channel, usually I have Gude Tama sitting right behind me. He gets a little bit sassy sometimes. But when he is replaced by Artemis back there, it is safe to assume that this is a Sailor Moon related video. Sailor Moon is one of my most favorite things and I'm just a collector so I tend to unbox Sailor Moon related things. It's just something I've found myself doing. Uh, I would say recently but I've been doing it all my life. So some of the things I'm going to be showing today are exclusive, maybe limited edition items that you might not be able to get just anywhere. Other things you can get, but I'll be sure to link everything down below in the description box. The first thing I want to show off is this little girl. This is an SH figure art of Sailor Chibi Moon. My friend Trevor gifted me this while he was here, most recently in Taiwan. If you haven't seen our two collab videos, link is popping up right now, somewhere up there. Be sure to check it out. We went around Taizong drinking a bunch of boba. And another video, we traveled to Kaohsiung and Kunding for Dragon Boat Festival. So this is something special Trevor does for me every year. He's been doing it for the past three years and I can say three because every year for my birthday and Christmas gift he gives me one of these SH figure arts. So this Sailor Chibi Moon figure is the third action figure that I've gotten from him. They're always from SH figure arts. It's always Sailor Moon related. So this little girl is, well I shouldn't say little girl. She's a small lady being 900 years old but this figure is the third one I've received from him. He's good for another seven years <laughs> gifting me just these uh, action figures but yeah uh, so far I have Sailor Saturn and Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon was the first one I ever got from him then uh, last year I got Sailor Saturn and now I got Sailor Chibi Moon. The other two that I got are in Texas, so I can't show you those. And my favorite thing about these figures is they come with different faces, different hands. Uh, it, it should even come with a weapon. Yes, I see her weapon in there. There is a reason why I'm not unboxing this figure, and it's probably not what you think. I shall reveal why in time. It's probably not going to be in this video. I don't think you guys are ready for this news but spoiler alert there is a reason why I'm keeping her in this box so hopefully you guys don't mind appreciating her in her original package the next thing I want to show you guys is this package of six keychains now this is a steal because a lot of stores sell these individually and I got all six for relatively cheap like cheaper than it would be buying these one by one now this one i can open now i've had uh keychains that look like these before um from the package alone i guess this is from series five like they've released five sets so far and this is number five i don't know if it's the newest one or if it's older or whatever but i got the whole set this one is tuxedo masks pocket watch that Sailor Moon keeps safe for him. He has her handkerchief. She has his watch. It's a thing that they do. This is Sailor Moon's Cosmic Heart Compact. This one is the Pegasus message which comes from the Pegasus of course. Um, he has a relationship with Chibi Moon. This one is supposed to be Sailor Saturn's amulet. This one is Sailor Moon's first transformation brooch, except this one is modeled after Sailor Moon Crystal, which is also modeled after the manga. The one from the 1990s Sailor Moon had a different design for her first brooch, but this is the original design of her first transformation brooch, as is from the manga, as well as Sailor Moon Crystal. And this, of course, is the silver crystal, the Millennium Silver Crystal. It actually says on the box it's Chibi Yusa's and not Usagi's. That's the last and final one that came in this pack. Of course, since I just opened all of these, I don't know if they're collector items or not, but since I opened all of these, I will be gifting some to my friends and they could be, you know, little friendship keychains. 
why not? I got this set of keychains in Taipei. There's an underground mall underneath the uh, HSR station, the main HSR station. Uh, if you are in Taiwan and you want to get some of these yourself, I got these at the underground mall, which is considerably cheaper than what I found in American stores and online. Another item that I got from the underground mall in Taipei is... This is, this is one of the items I'm most excited about. Recognize this? Recognize this? If you're a Sailor Moon fanatic like me, you would know that this is the popcorn box you can get at Universal Studios Japan, except I didn't have to go to Japan to get this. Now I know you guys might be thinking, Andrea, how do you know it's not a dupe? I don't know if it's not a dupe, but I paid too much money for this to be a dupe and I am convinced, I've convinced myself that this is not a dupe. On the back here, it does say Sailor Moon Universal Studios Japan and has all the necessary information on the back engraved right here. There's no way you're going to be able to see it because it is white on white, but trust me, it is there. And also, if you open this little doohickey, it still has the strap in its original packaging. And what's included with the strap? A universal lanyard paper thingamabobber. So is this a dupe? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty convinced it's not because of what is included. This is still like perfectly wrapped and everything. I'm gonna get that little piece of paper out and see. Yeah, so this is the strap that comes with it. As you can tell, I haven't even unwrapped it prior to filming this. Um, but yeah, this is the piece of paper I was talking about. The little piece of lanyard that says Universal Studios Japan Sailor Moon. There's a bunch of Japanese that I can't read on the back. And it's attached to this lanyard thing. Um, and yeah, the actual strap has all of Sailor Moon's um, weapons on it and also has uh, Universal Studios Japan on it. I, I really don't think this is a dupe, but I would be careful about trying to get this popcorn bag dealio from online because you might get a dupe. I inspected this in store and it looked very, very genuine and real, which is why I ended up buying it. It was not cheap to buy it, but to be fair, I saved money on the airfare. It would have cost for me to go to Japan, buying tickets to enter Universal Studios, and then finally buying this bag. Because literally, that's all I'd be there for would be to get this bag. So it was pretty pricey. I'm a little scared to say how much this popcorn box costs since my parents watch my videos and they already know how crazy I am. So um, yeah, you just clip these and clippies on both sides of the bag here, there's little slots, little slit slots here. And th yeah, this is originally to put popcorn in, but I'm never going to use it for that. I ain't going to dirty up this box for popcorn. Are you kidding me? It also comes with this plastic baggie, which I think would be to originally contain the popcorn in this box if you were to use it for its purpose at Universal Studios in Japan. So yeah, this is definitely a great find that I got at the underground mall in Taipei. Somebody went, somebody got it, and somebody <laughs> resold it at a secondhand store. And when I bought this thing, at first I was just admiring it through the glass. I was admiring it. And then a bunch of guys came by, like a bunch of men were ogling it and discussing about possibly buying it. And I was like, what? There ain't no way I'm letting a man buy my popcorn box. You kidding me? I mean, if you're a man and you like Sailor Moon, I have nothing against that. But if a man buys this popcorn box, I know it's not going to do anything besides sit on a shelf or be gifted to his girlfriend who might not like Sailor Moon as much as I do. So I couldn't let them get away with it. I bought it. It is in very good condition considering um, somebody must have bought it and brought it over from Japan. There's no dents and scratches on the white part, which I feel like it is very susceptible to that. Um, it doesn't feel like there's any protective coating here. Um, so I probably wouldn't use this besides maybe a purse for a convention just to show it off or something. My favorite thing about this bag besides the detail of the brooch in front is actually the bow and the collar. I know you can't probably tell just from looking at it on video, but this is 
this is her plastic right here but the collar is very very soft it's like a soft rubber it feels like an eraser like a pencil eraser like that type of soft rubber material and i'm just this is my prized treasure fighting evil by moonlight winning love by daylight where am i oh yeah unboxing so the last thing I have for you guys is just as special and exciting. It is from Grace Gift, which I do believe is a Taiwanese company. Now, I do believe they allow international shipping, but I will be a little bit wary because when I ordered this item, I had typed all my information in English and they emailed me back in Chinese because they couldn't read my address, but I typed it in English as it would show up for Taiwanese postal office to show. There was really nothing wrong with the address, that's what I'm saying. So if you are not in Taiwan and you are ordering internationally, it's just a warning, be wary. I'm pretty sure a bunch of people would want to order this item as soon as I show it, but I don't know how reliable the company is in reading English. They do have an English version of the site, so it seems pretty straightforward, but if they aren't able to read your information and it could be in perfect English, no misspelling errors or anything like that, um, and they contact you in Chinese, you know, so just, just be wary. Just be wary. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. This is the biggest item I have to show for you guys. Again, this is from Grace Gift. They sell a bunch of things that are mainly Disney related, but they came out with the Sailor Moon Crystal collection. And you know I just had to have it. They have bags and shoes and all sorts of accessories. So you can guess by the size of this box, I got me a pair of shoes. But first, can we just admire the packaging? Like, you know this is gonna be my new keepsake box, right? To keep all my memories in. Like, this is gonna be my memories shoe box as soon as I take these shoes out. Just saying, the box is so cute. So what is included with the shoes may not be offered anymore. Um, when they first released the Sailor Moon collection, they had special offers that come with it, like buy a pair of shoe, get a shirt for free, or a hat for free, or a necklace for free, or a bunch of other stuff for free included with your shoe or bag purchase. I don't know if that's still going on. I'm pretty sure if you were to order a Sailor Moon bag or a Sailor Moon shoes, uh, it, it might not come with the stuff that I got along with my pair of shoes. So just putting that out there. Again, because I pre-ordered my pairs of shoes, I did get some free goodies. One of them being this choker. It's just a simple charm on this choker, which is made out of a black felty fabric. And it has a gold chain. It is adjustable. As you can see, there are multiple links. Another free gift that I got with my order of shoes is this plain white t-shirt with the Sailor Moon logo on it. Oh, it's a crop top. I didn't know it was going to be a crop top. Oh my goodness. This one has a short torso on. But yeah, it's just a plain white t-shirt with the Sailor Moon silhouette in pink with Sailor Moon in hot pink super cute you know i gotta try this on real quick so hold on a second close your eyes ba boom ba bam here it is on the body it's a crop top crop top crop top don't look at my fat but it's a crop top mm, 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 mm. so those are the two free gifts that i got with my shoes now i know i've been hyping it up but once you see these <laughs> You're gonna know it's worth it, okay? First of all, these shoes are wrapped up individually in these little shoe bags. And even the freaking shoe bags have like designs on them. It says Sailor Moon Crystal Collection by Grace Gift on the shoe bag. And there's one for each shoe. So I got two of these shoe bags. How amazing is that? This company is just super high class. Here it is. I love this transformation brooch right at the laces up front and I love the thick ribbon laces I don't know it just kind of like elevates the whole look you know it's just different um and it just looks like you know her actual bow in the front bow in the back 
And the heel of the sneaker is the collar of the sailor suit. The tongue of the sneaker also has the Millennium Silver Crystal on it. You can see inside the shoe, there is the Sailor Moon Crystal logo in it. So yeah, there's a lot of really little special details that, you know, the longer you look at the shoe, the more you appreciate it. Men have Jordans, I got Sailor Moon sneakers. These are my Jordans, let me just say that. These weren't the only shoes they offered. There's also Luna sneakers, where the tongue are like little kitty ears. And actually those I think I might get eventually, because those are pretty cute too. Um, they got high heels modeled after every Sailor Scout. So there's orange, green, red, light blue. They're, they have a huge selection for this collection and it's very very impressive I almost forgot to mention with every shoe purchase they put little um what are these things called heel of the foot cushion pad thingy my boppers and an extra pair of laces in white very versatile super great it's not just shoes they got bags too so yeah uh, again i'll leave the link down below in case you want to check out grace gift anyway that is all for my exclusive item limited edition sailor moon haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys haven't already be sure to hit that like button click subscribe and follow me on all the social media i make new videos every wednesday so See you guys next time. Bye-bye.